Hello everyone, so I'm back again and I am going to try this mixing cup today. It's from Let's Resin. They sent me to try it out. So just going to give it a go. It's a resin mixing cup. So let's do um, oh it's quite a lot of cups there. As you can see. It's got one lead. Is the scrap bar you can just get the resin out and pass the instruction menu. So, the first thing pour the resin in a cup, then fit the have a look. Yeah, fit this one. It's already fit it there. That's the mixing bit. Uh, then second step, put it back on, turn it on, and I think I actually want to charge. Uh, so it goes in here, and then push it in properly. So you can see it's kind of touching at the bottom. It's only slightly a little gap. I'm hoping they'll mix properly. So this one can go up till 850 ml. Well, I suggest not to go all the way up. So I'm going to do like 400 ml. So I put my 200 and 200 um, part A and 200 part B and see how it goes. Um, Turn that way. I'm going to turn it back. So, um, so we have to put it on a charge to charge this machine. The charging lead is here. And still in. So it it normally goes for forty seconds and stop automatically. And you know how many. <laughs> if you're working with resin, you know when your resin is mixed, it, it get crystal clear. It's not cloudy. And this is how we know. So I'm going to give it a go. Fill up my resin and see how it goes. So I normally put my part B first. So I'm using the J Diction resin. And I'm going up to 200. That's exactly two hundred. Two hundred ML and part A and two hundred ML part B. So one good thing about it, um, the timer is already there, you don't need to do about the timer, but as you mix, you need to make sure it's clear once it's mixed, that means your resin is mixed. So, now I'm going to put, and I assume this one, the scrap, once it's done, it can wipe with um, um, the wipes or I can wipe with um, the kitchen towel as well. But I need to make sure. Yeah, it's got kind of silicone lid. So now I'm, I'm going to turn it on, see how it goes. I'm going to give you the close look as well. Oh, it's, uh, it's mixing. I'll give you the close look. You can see at the bottom it's mixing as well. Uh, 
Okay, looks like it's not mixed. You can see it's a bit cloudy. So I'm going to press the button again. So when you have a big mix, you can actually mix on this one because the those cups are very big, the containers comes with it. I assume you can peel it off once they're dry. Uh, so total there are ten. I'm going to give one more round. And then I'll turn it on once it's done. So I don't like three cycles of 40 seconds for 400 ml. Okay, now I'm just going to put this phone back on and open it and see how the, lo how the resin looks inside. So let's open it. I haven't got my gloves off because I haven't mixed manually. Oh, you can see it is actually mixed because it's crystal, crystal clear as in it. So I'm going to give a good wipe. Let me just show you closely. You can see it's mixed because it's crystal clear there is no stripe or anything at all so i'll give a good wipe to this one i'm going to wait i'm just going to leave it here until it drips and then i'll give a good wipe to this one i need to put my gloves on before i wipe it just waiting to drip you can see it's dripping so it's not a bad idea, you can mix quickly, if you're in a rush you can just leave it to mix and you can get ready with your molds and things like that. And it only took like one, one, two minutes actually because I've done three cycles of 40 seconds. So it took two minutes. My ha I probably got it done in second cycle, but I didn't want to risk it. I just done more. Okay, I'll just leave that. I don't want to make stay there really. I'll put my clothes on just wipe it off. So I've got my gloves on and now I'm going to wipe it first with um, this wipe and then it is kind of silicone so if it dries you can um, peel it off as well I think that would be much easier to do that way anyway if you prefer the most more automatic work then it probably is the idea to go on this route to get the automatic tools of mixing cup and uh, your air bubble remover so yeah I like it let me show you the how you can see it's mixed it's clear there's no stripe or anything like that so i'm going to carry on doing my pour now so 
So I have um, separated the resin here and I am using for my next step using this glitter. So just going to pull some glitter in this part. Just mix it if I need more. I'll add some more. Okay, so as you can see, this one is mixed. So what I'm going to do, just press it the other way. I'm going to fill up that in rail in these bubbles. So as you can see, I'm making bubbles. <laughs> so you can use actually um, any um, what's the call the because you will be filling this bit um the in rail line. So you have to make sure you don't put too much. I don't put too much resin but I tried to put more resin and it actually spread um, it just goes the way uh, fill up the way you need needed to be filled up no first let me just put it one by one because I don't want any um, bubbles at the bottom I was just alcohol ink. I'll wipe it off once um, once all them um, filled up. So you can see that one is spreaded. So that's what I normally go for. <laughs> All over. Okay, I'll wipe this off, um, the extra on the top. Let me just finish this, this all. Use a small spoon or um, the pipette you can use. All I do, I'm just going to drop it like that, and it will eventually go on the bottom. <laughs> so let's drop this one there. Drop this here. So you 
and you can just wipe it off easily. This one can be done all the way around as well. You just um, not too. Why don't you go to your daddy, Chicky? wipe it off I'm just going to wait for a bit and then wipe it off and then do my white on the top So all you need to do, take your um, um, wipe and just wipe, you don't need to wipe all the way, just wipe where it is on that big surface, just wipe that off, that's it, and I'm just going to wipe on that part here, perfectly done that one. Just a bit of here. Yeah, but if you use, um, let me just show you. If you use the, this piplet, then you won't have too much going around, messing around there. I, the last time I did use it today, I just thought, oh my, just go and give it a go that way. Um, but it's not bad to be honest you just need to wipe a little bit that one is okay now this one just need to wipe on the side there and this one just need no. to this side here yeah and 
this made. Because when your white backgrounds comes, you don't want to um, your um, glitter goes on the top of it. You just want glitter in your um, uh, in graves, so it and it will pop up that way. Okay now. Don't see anymore. Just turn it down. And push this glitter down. Glitter down. So I want to see it on another side. So I'm trying to push it down. Okay, this looks okay for me now. So that's it. And uh, let me finish off this as well. Yeah, that looks that's right, that's fine, just this bit. No. Here. And some there. Yeah, definitely use pip pads. Then it makes more easier to do. Then using the um, spoon or stealing stick or anything like that. Because I done the green one last time and I did use the pipettes and it was so nice. Didn't need to wipe or anything at all. So I try to use that way. Okay. This side looks okay. I just need a little bit here. All right, I'm going. Well, I think I messed up me. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to wait until they start. Uh, if when it gets tacky, you can just do the second step. So yeah, but I'll do it tomorrow once this job because it's late anyway. Pushing this glitter down. tomorrow the next step so this tile dry now you can see and I have wiped off so it's not you can't see any um, pink glitter on this one any blank it just in the, in the grills so they all got wiped off so now I'm going to um, um, mix my white pigment paste well, I'm just using the mica powder, so the same resin I'm using, Jellyction resin. And let me get mica. So I'm going to use the mica powder, white mica powder. So let me just drop that first before I put my gloves on. So resin is already mixed. I put my gloves on now, but let me, because I want all the struggle to work when I don't have a, my hands not free. So I'm just going to pull that one and put my gloves on and then carry on working. It's got some mic on my fingers. Well, when I mix 
moisturizing I put my gloves on uh, but then I took it off because I wanted to show you those things uh, oh, well I wanted to wipe it and then show you so they wiped after mixing resin and now I'm back on my gloves again always put your gloves on otherwise you'll get resin all over and it's not really good touching your skin so got my gloves on and I'm gently going to mix it so they don't fly away So satisfying watching mixing the resin. See how gently I'm stirring it. I'm very impatient, so I always go so fast and go in all direction <laughs> or think just one direction. Nice mix of that. So yeah, you can use a white pigment paste. I just want a little bit shimmery, so that's why I'm using the white mica. Start to mix now. I'm going to do a couple more minutes proper stirring. mix 100 ml but I'm going to use in something else as well so I thought oh, maybe a little bit more so there it's ready so I'm going to pour in it takes a while to 30 ml something like that 30 40 ml Yeah, that's it and tomorrow we're going to demold them and I'll show you how they look so it is nice when you use a glitter to be honest um, and uh, drop yeah it's nice when you use the um, glitter um, um, in your engrail I'll show you tomorrow I don't did it the green one blue one last year and they were so popular as well for Christmas so we demold them tomorrow so now I am going to demold them next day and show you how it looks so how beautiful it looks my goodness I was worried about this uh, glitter because you know there's someone um, the hexagon's got quite big so it doesn't go properly in a thin line but the small one has gone properly so it looks really nice I might use more of the different colors one look at this ah oh, so cute so definitely need a darker color darker will pop out more okay see I'm glad it's no bubbles as well. See, it's quite smooth. So, yeah, 
and put this all down and I'll show you how you can actually type to see here um, so you can take the rising oh my god it just fly away so the dry one it comes off so easily Hmm. and this tool comes with the um, um, uh, with this machine mixing cup and you can see here I'll show you I, I prefer to do this way than uh, using the one is because um, it can come off with your nail as well look how easily it comes off so this is how you can clean once you got your um, Next day when it's uh, dry, so you can see here. Look, come out. It's not much there because I left it like this, and water wa was dripping. It actually dripped on the plastic sheet, and some got stuck here, which I can take it off easily. So yeah, this is the best way you can actually do it instead of wiping when it's wet just um, peel it off if you it just comes off easily when you touch with your nail as well just like this like so I'm not there it's gone so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye for now